Okay, so we have a question right here. That is a question. Before we get started, uh, please visit the page and then you can see what we do uh, for giving back as far as knowledge because they say giving back, it could be knowledge, it could be time, it could be skills, it could be inspiration. So I have a feeding program with a little that I have, okay? With, to my brother and sister, okay? To my cousin, to my niece, my familiar, okay? Because we all come from something everybody come everybody that got this story okay i got my own story uh and one thing my grandmother told me never forget where you come from always go back to where you come from and do something give back always inspire others okay so when you win you win collectively now let's get started so please go to my instagram mtwana the same name underscore bantu uh Follow me so you can see what we do for the community. Also, you can, there's a link below. Click the link and see what we do for the community. Now, let's get, so, let's get started. So, we have a question right here. They say, this is exponential, okay? When you have a graph like this, this exponential. So, now, I don't want to go deeper into exponential and how to solve. I can just show you based on the information they have given to us. So, this line here is the line of exponential it's like look if somebody gave you one equal to uh let's say two x so most of the time right the graph exponential it could be any value okay let's see uh, let's see number with value or whatever most of this graph is always like either this way or that way if it's exponential but i don't want to be more specific now i have a very special topic for this i want to focus only on this equation if it's negative or how happen if it's negative there what happened if it's negative there so I have a video for those one see but I want to give it like the nature of the graph for the most case for the exponential either like this or like that and you can see this is exponential actual now let's go to the question now the one was not okay this is for the beginner right for my familiar who want to learn basics this is X this is y okay so this coordinate lies on this exponential you see this exponential it lies on it for that case means we can substitute this value on here so what the value for y the value of y is going to be 54 what the value of x x equal to this one which is negative 3 so we're going to say now y equals 54 and then equal to 2 to m bracket m what is the value of x x equal to negative 3 so what we're going to do here look here's multiplication means i can simply divide it by 2 i can simply divide it by 2 throughout this and this cancel so how many 2 in 54 how many 25 is 2 how many means we left with how many 25 4 how many 25 there 2 which is 4 and i'm left with 1 which is 14 how many 2 in 14 7 and then here i'm left with m so we want to get the value of what of the value of the value of m. So what we're gonna do, look, in math we have something called what reciprocation. Okay? If somebody give you x negative one, this same is say which number is here? The number here is one, even if they don't say if somebody say pen, how many pen? It's just a one. So what I do, you write your one exactly and then take everything to the bottom. See this? Take the bottom. But the only thing you change is negative, right? Become positive. So the answer is going to be one. It's going to be like that. If somebody give you, I'm coming back, right? If somebody give, let's say, uh, let's say t negative five. So to raise pocket, you have to look. Okay, which number is in here? If so, which number is in here? If there's no number, means is one always. So I'm going to say one, and then you overtake exactly, put to the bottom. So it's going to be t is negative five, right? It's not going to be right exactly, but the only thing you change is sign. It's going to be five. And this we call reciprocation rule. Reciprocation rule or reciprocate. Oh, just one more, one more, and then I go to the question that we finish up, right? Just one more. Somebody give, let's say, uh, negative x negative three. So which number is in here? So we know even though there's no number, there's a one. So I'm gonna say write my negative one. Don't worry about that. And then we over everything. The only thing you change this sign it will become positive that's how you reciprocate so now let's go to that question right here so now we know how to reciprocate so write your 27 as it is okay 
Oh, he's gonna fix a little bit on. Uh, my computer is freezing. You guys cannot see, but I'm the one who's seeing it here. That's what I'm kind of, you know. Okay, let's see now. I think that's fine. It's kind of freezing here on my side. You guys cannot see. Okay, now. Oh my god. Oh, you see? I hope you can see now what I, what I mean. What I mean. See? It's freezing. Can you see that? But I'll be back in a second, right? It's going to come back in a second. It's freezing. I don't know if you can see. See, that's why it went off. But it's going to come back in a second, right? Come back in a second. Come back, come back, come back, come back. I apologize. See? It's tough. See? It's tough. So, close. Okay, close. I don't know if you can see. You cannot see. Okay. So, that's why it went blank. But it's back now. now. Okay. I'm going to have to restart the PowerPoint. Just a second, sorry. Okay, please come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, let's go. My poet, right? So then I'm gonna say. So we say uh, we have a fifty-four equal to uh, two, and then we say m, and then negative three because x is negative three. Now we say we divide by two, and then we divide by two. This and this constant, and this is gonna give us twenty-seven equal to m negative three. So now we wanna get the value of m, so we can, we know how to reciprocate now. Because which number is in here? The number here is 1. So we can say this equal to 1 over, this is going to be m power 3 because it's going to be positive. And here is just a 27. Okay? So then we can say, look, it's 27. So 27 is like 27 over 1. So mathematica, you can either cross or you can flip everything is acceptable. If you have a 1 over x equal to 3 over 4. Only if you have a, look, you only flip if you have a, one group and one group you can flip they say x over one equal to four over three is very acceptable four over three. only if you have a one group and one group not if you have something else here no there's no such a group so now we can flip there because we got one group and one group okay so i'll flip everything and this is going to become one over 20 seven equal to uh m3 over one means i flip everything one go to the top m over three over one and then one over turn everything flip like this is gonna go to the top and this is gonna go to the top. You can see one and the two. Okay. So now how are we gonna get the value of uh m? So for me to get the value of m, look, m anything divided by one is that something. So m power cube equal to one over twenty seven. And then what are we gonna do now? We're gonna cube root because I wanna get the value of m and then I'm gonna cube root this in this console. So m equal if you cube root everything here, it's gonna become one over three. Or you can simply say Cube root of 1 and then cube root of 27. If you cube root 1, you get 1. If you cube root 27, you get 3. So our answer is going to be 1 over 3. Okay, so without being said, man. Okay, so here we have, we say uh, our y, what is our y? Our y 54, and then we say our 2, 2, multiply by m, m we don't know, and our x equal to negative, it means we replace this m, and we replace this y, y equal to 54, 
and then x equal to because these are x and this is y so now we're going to divide by 2 divided by 2 and this and this cancel so how many 2 in 27 equal to 22 in 54 27 equal to and power negative 3 so what you can do right now you can say this is equal to 27 and then we can rest okay this can be 1 over and q okay and then now way easy so how i'm gonna get uh you can say then put this over one so you see two ways either you can cross if you don't want to cross you can flip everything right and like i say flipping here is gonna be easy or you can simply close let me say close flipping is gonna be way easy so you only flip you have two groups like you see you got one group and one group not if you have another group you don't this rule does not apply okay so don't say oh, i just flip my exam and then i didn't get a right answer only have a one group and another group and there is an equal sign in between these are rules in math so you follow the rules you don't do how you want so you can flip here if you flip m it's going to be m is going to go to miss it's going to go to the top and this one is going to go to the bottom equal now let's flip this one is going to go to the top and the 27 is going to go to the bottom but if somebody say 3 divided by 1, what is that? Means it's 3. m cubed divided by 1 is just m cubed equal to 1 over 27. So how much of the value of m? Means I have to cube root throughout. Means this must be cube root and this must be cube root. This and this cancel. So m equal, I can separate here. I can say cube root of 1 separate means cube root of 1 and cube root of 27. So when you cube root to 1 equal to 1 and you cube root to 27 equal to 3. And this is going to be option number 4. So for that we say, hey, follow, uh, go to my Instagram page. Uh, also, there's in the link below, there's another channel where you can see what we do for the community, okay? Click the link, see the program we do about giving back. Thanks a lot of your time, and I'm going to see you soon. Peace in the mouth.